morning and welcome back to our project here at Fitzroy Avenue. Go on inside and have a look at the progress that we've made since our last visit and I'll explain to you what's been happening in the last few weeks. Um, as you know, it's a period building. Um, the front of the house doesn't really change. We're going to do some repointing again, similar to Lansdowne Gardens with the brickwork. We've got a new ESB hockey stick and meter going in. A very compact site, um, limited storage space and access. And like all of our sites, the clients have to move out for the duration of the build. This will give you an idea of what it's like. Uh, for anyone that thinks they can stay at home during a construction project, it's extremely difficult um, from a health and safety perspective and just from a practical perspective. So we have a toilet on all of our sites, um, a small set down area, skip area at the front and some material space. So coming through here, you can see the original suspended floor was removed. We have a full new insulated floor slab and um, we also have a new full structural renovation. Internally, we've removed all of the internal walls, replaced all of that with new stud timber structures. And also the original um, spine wall was removed and we've replaced that with a new steel frame. Seen in the original video, the concrete pads are in place now it's starting to get um, filled up with, with insulation and, and plasterboards going on soon. It'll give you an idea of, of uh, the finishes here, but you can still see the steel posts and columns our engineers have specified, the new uh, structural um, stud walls going in. So here we have the front living room. We have the main open plan space. It's a huge transformation here. Um, the extension made a big difference. Obviously it's a mid terrace home, you're, you're limited with the space. Uh, of what you can do, but um, I think our architectural team has done a great job. And also we have to um, pay a big credit to the new house crew on site here. The structural work that went into this project, starting at the front with these steel frames and um, internal um, skeleton steel frames at the back and also the big open plan space around window openings, flat roof. It's also a two-story extension which we can look at upstairs. That just means an extra beam going in place mid-section. This house already had an existing attic conversion. So we also had to uh, calculate in the three levels of structure, live loads and dead loads with our engineering team, and had to support the attic during the works, um, which were outside of the new house construction team scope of works. So um, a big well done to the new house crew on site here, specifically Vilius and the demolition team. They've done an excellent job. But here you can still see the skeleton while it's exposed, and you get a, an appreciation of what goes into a, a two-story renovation extension. Uh, it's not just the extension part, it starts literally at the front door. So you can pan around and have a look at all of that. Um, this will be the kitchen area. You can see some of the services here on the left um, for, for kitchen and, and heating. And uh, the team have chased that into the floor at the moment. It's going to be resealed and insulated. It's a great opportunity to understand services. And let's say your oil is here, for example, and your, your connections of waste, um, power and so on. And um, it gives our clients a, a chance to understand the electrics and plumbing that goes in behind the skeleton. Here you have the large up and over window which is on the back garden um, and up onto the flat roof. We can have a look at that upstairs later. Um, it's by Cubo Windows. Also a window seat here, which would be maybe 600 mil deep. So it gives an extra bit of uh, space for clients and family to use to, as an overflow to the main seating areas. You can step out and have a look at the back garden here. It's, it's still full of scaffolding. It's quite compact. Um, it's a minimum size garden. It's probably 20, 25 square meters. There will be a paved area here. Hopefully we can get through and just have a look at the back and see what's left. The rail line at the back of us here with a large um, retaining wall and obviously we, we have the two boundaries either side of us. We had to rebuild the, the party wall here between the, the neighbours on your left. Um, just a two metre uh, block wall, new foundation, new capping and the one on the right was just made good. Mostly that was okay. We would have to fix some of the flashing up there and obviously decorate the landscaping. Um, the, the back wall would render um, some nice paving and, and um, patio area. We'll finish this space nice for, for the family. Pan up to your left, you can see um, the two-story element. You can have a better look at it as we go up onto the scaffolding and look at the, uh, the upstairs. And you can see the before and after images here. Big transformation. This project was full planning permission requirement from Dublin City Council. And we also had Irish water involvement because of a main sewer line traversing the site here at the back, which will be all made good with new manholes and AJs and connections. We'll go through that in more detail in the next uh, episode. And let's have a look upstairs on the first floor level. Okay, the crew are just working away, doing some more internal joinery work and um, fixing some services. So we'll just walk through here as we have a moment. This is the new bathroom and you can see it's a floating toilet. Um, this is a structure that goes in at the back of the supporting uh, structure, which carries the, the weight of the toilet. And you can see the waste pipe here is, is chased into the block wall. Um, new Drutex windows, all triple glazed, this project. 
that'll give you a nice view out on the flat roof covered in some ice and snow at the moment so again a lot of more structural works timbers uh, stud walls you can still see the steel beams from the ground floor are carried up here onto the upper level so it's a stacked um, goalpost system they carry the original wall plate and at the roof level here you can see the main original roof is coming down on top of that and this is the new two-story extension here um, this is a new warm deck flat roof of bathroom and bedroom again triple glazed windows and a large tilt and turn system again most of the timbers at the front were retained um, mainly decorative finishes here so our engineers have kept the floorboards and uh, timbers at this level and you can still see some of the original studs that are in good condition no need to replace those in general the upper level is, is more decorative than um, you build um, this was the original stairs to the attic space so the lads are just doing some um, removing a plasterboard and we're going to reinsulate the attic space and um, do some general electrics and new upgrades but in general the structural work doesn't change up here FedEx window stays, full painting, decorating, um, plaster skin, paint finish. Again, a home office and just an additional space for family to use. So on our last episode, uh, we had the scaffolding on the first floor level. Um, none of this was finished and complete. Now you can see the, the two-story element here, which is bedroom and bathroom. Lock work is complete. Um, lintel steel head is in. New triple glazed windows are in. And the fiberglass warm deck flat roof is in. So the external insulation is waiting to be installed here. There is some insulation on the neighbour side, um, not fully finished, but it'll give you an idea of the 150 mil that has to go onto it and full wraparound. Um, we need to achieve at least a B2 on our major renovation projects. We're aiming for an A3 on this project. Here you can see the, um, the flat roof and, and the detail that goes into the uh, fiberglass. Um, the up and over window here by Cubo is a triple glazed system which serves the, the seating area below. Um, again, that has to be insulated and, and, and weathered and sealed all around. Um, we have some metal cladding um, acting as a, as a lead valley there also. Here's your pan around. You can see the, um, the main roof area um, serving the kitchen space. There's no need for a skylight. Usually on our projects you'll see a large skylight. In this case, there's no need for it. We have a, um, a three meter slider and we have the large up and over windows. For example, like getting into that space. Um, I suppose it's a good opportunity to see the, the work that goes into the fiberglassing and the parapets, the capping, and the falls that are needed to be formed um, by the carpenters and roofers and down to the rainwater outlets, which are... Um, there's a few here, you can see the back garden, really. It's, it's full of builder's materials at the moment. As I said, there's not a whole lot of storage area on site, um, but that will give the, the homeowners about 30 square metres of open garden space when we're complete. We're going to do some nice, nice landscaping, patio there, uh, render the walls, and um, make the most of it. It, it's, it's, it is what it is. You can see the large railway line at the back of it, um, probably 20 metres retaining wall. So uh, light was an issue here, natural light. Um, but the location is excellent. You can see Crow Park in the, in the background there. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we'll have more internal works done. Um, getting closer to finishing stage, we'll go to the kitchen, internal wall spaces, exterior finishes, and um, look forward to seeing you there. So Plantec Newhouse, all of our social platforms has these videos and um, photo galleries. You can join us on Instagram and Twitter for updates on our blog, um, Plant Tech New House Redesign and Build. Thank you.